Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to five different Walmarts and we're gonna check out their clearance bins. And the rules for this video is I have to buy one thing from the clearance bin at each Walmart that I go to. So I'm starting out here at the Latrobe Walmart and there's not too much in the way of baseball cards that I could find in there. I figured that I'm gonna see a bunch of 2018 top series one there you see some fat packs in there on clearance so i'm gonna put those aside because i see a prison pack from 2019 i'm gonna grab that one that's what i picked up at the first walmart we're gonna go and open all of these packs up and boxes up that i pick at each walmart in a second here second walmart up going to the clearance bin here this one was just about 20 minutes away from the first one you can see the clearance bins have a lot of 2019 heritage this year or at least right now in them and also 2019 top series one and there's also some football but i don't know much about football so i'm going to pass on those i have to buy one thing at each walmart and i spot this it's a mega box of prism with one guaranteed auto but the problem is there's also a Gypsy Queen mega box with 10 packs. No guaranteed auto though, so it's gonna come down to the price. I go back and find a price scanner there and the mega box for Prism is $29.98. I think it's usually about $39.98 or, or maybe even $42. And the Gypsy Queen, as you see here, is the exact same price. They're both $29.98. So I'll go for the guaranteed auto. We'll see who that auto is in a second when I get these back home and open them up. On to Walmart number four i think this is three or four sorry i lost track you can see a lot more of the hanger boxes of 2019 archives in series one you do see some 2019 tops update there but unfortunately those aren't on clearance some random person just threw those in there and i'll show you how you can tell if it's actually a clearance item or not here in a second but they have a lot of stuff there. You see Gems of the Game is still hanging around at the clearance bin here. You got some Big League. We got tons of Top Series 1. Some Panini Contenders from football. Uh, lots of different stuff there. You always got to look really well and check just in case there's some good stuff there from 2018 Top Series 2 or 2018 Tops Update. They got some Prism Packs again. But unfortunately, I am going to have to go with the good old tops heritage from 2019 so there it is and you saw the sticker on the back that's how you tell if it's a clearance item if the original upc symbol is covered by a replacement one with that is a sticker that is a clearance item so now this is walmart number four for sure you can see it's pretty well picked over i was a little worried that i'd have to buy a a football pack here or something but there is a 2019 Tops update pack there. I'll show you how that scans in a second there. There's also some more Heritage from 2019. So it's looking pretty grim here. Again, you see 2019 Tops update. Again, not on sale because you see that UPC symbol. That's the original one. It should be covered by a sticker. So if I went and rang that up at the checkout, that would cost me $19.98 or whatever. So I'm going to pick up that sticker pack there. That's going to be what i go with and here's how it works you can see the fat pack should be 548 we're going to scan these i want to see how much the sticker pack was 398 for the sticker pack and here is the tops update no sticker on the back no replacement sticker it's still full price so you see it right there there's your proof this is the last walmart then we'll go back and open all of these up this is the walmart in north huntington pennsylvania and here is their selection some of these Walmarts are a little picked over. In fact, one of the Walmarts, as I was there filming, one of the guys came, just some random customer, and bought every single blaster box of 2020 Topps Heritage. I think there's like seven of them. He cleaned them out when I was there. So here's the selection. Not too much to pick from again. Uh, I'm, I didn't really pay too close attention to the football and the basketball and what they have there. But I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, you can see and get an idea. But this is what we have in Western Pennsylvania. I'm going to have to go with Top Series 1, a blaster box. Let's go home and open these up. All right, we are back from those five Walmarts. And I have one item from each clearance bin one item per walmart you can see this is probably the one i'm excited to open the most because there's a guaranteed autograph well at least it says there is on average sometimes you might not find an autograph at all sometimes you might find two so let's get started with opening these we're going to start off with we'll start with prism this is there's 15 cards and there's also a bonus pack that has three red, white, and blue prism cards. This was on clearance for $8.98. There you see the clearance sticker, which is covering up the original UPC symbol. Be careful of that so you don't end up going and buying something that you think is on sale but really isn't. 
Uh, clearance items around here are usually about, I think they're 25% off. So it's not a huge discount that you're getting, but um, you know, it's okay. A lot of times you can go on eBay and maybe even find the stuff for cheaper. For example, the blaster boxes, I paid $9.52 after tax. But anyway, let's get these open. Panini Prism, four cards for pack. It would be very, very nice to find an autograph or at least maybe give us some numbered cards. Let's see what we get and see if we get anywhere close to our $9 investment here. I do like Panini Prism. They are sharp looking cards. There you see Adrian Beltre on the front, future Hall of Famer there. Luis Castillo, future Cy Young Award winner in my opinion. Christian Yelich, past NL MVP, and Willie Adames, who had a very nice season last year in our first pack. Pack number two, there's only three packs, four cards per pack. Then we have that three-card red, white, and blue parallel pack there. There's Luis Arias' rookie card. He's now in the Brewers. He'll probably be more of a journeyman, um, super utility-type player in the big leagues. And there's a nice Aaron Judge, very nice refractor there. Aaron Judge, best card so far. One pack left of base cards. From Prism, we got Kevin Kramer of the Buckos on the back. Shane Bieber. On the front, Chris Sale, who's probably not going to be ready for the start of the regular season. There's Aaron Judge, fireworks insert card, and Kevin Kramer. That's a pretty nice judge. So two judge cards. Let's see what we have from our final pack. People like to collect parallel cards. Let's check these out and see what we got. You got Andrew Benatendi, Kevin Pillar, and Anthony Rizzo from our first box. Now, we do have this one that has an autograph, and I'll save that for a minute or two from now. Let's get this out of the way. It's a sticker pack. I've never had these before, never bought these before. I always pass on them. But you might remember back in the day, um, you used to be able to buy sticker packs for like a quarter and buy an album, and you'd put them in the, the album, and it was pretty fun, I guess, for kids. I think I did it one year. So all we have in here are stickers. I don't think there's any chance of finding any inserts. So there's a number, and you just go to that um, number usually – um, each team would have its own page. It's going to be Shaw Mania, Starling Castro. I think this would be really good for what year is this? If Joe Maurer's in here, 2018 is the year on this one. 2018 top stickers. I'll probably take these to school and give them away as prizes to some of the kids that like baseball. Um, sometimes I'll give away prizes, and if it's not a good prize, if we're playing like Deal or No Deal review, uh, where I ask questions and Deal or No Deal and they get to open cases when they answer questions correctly. Some of the crappier prizes are stickers, and they usually give away like 1990 FLIR stickers, but they never stick on anything. So this would be pretty cool for kids to put them on their folders or whatnot. Mitch Hanniger, Brad Miller, another Joe Maurer, so that kind of stinks, getting two of the same guy in the, in the same pack there. I guess that's going to happen. I think we've seen a couple Adam Duvall so far. David Fries, 2018 sticker packs. I tried these, actually, I come to think of it, I tried these with my daughter about a year ago or so. Bought her a couple packs of these stickers in the album, and she, she did it, but I don't think she got that much into it. All right, so that is done. That's all I could find at that Walmart. It's pretty brutal there in terms of finding anything that I wanted to uh, pick up. I think I could have picked up another Heritage box for 2019, which I'll be opening shortly, but I figured I'll just go with the sticker pack. Next up, we've got 2019 Series 1. It was on clearance for, it just says, it doesn't tell you the price. You have, to, I would suggest going to the scanner in the back of the store somewhere where it says, can't find the price? Come over here and scan it and double check. Usually it's 25% off. So I think these were $8.98 after the discount. Hey, Mike Trout, that's a very nice card. That's one of my favorite cards in this set. Card number 100. Um, that's my favorite card that I've pulled so far in this video. It's good old Cedric Mullins rookie card. And how about that? Back-to-back -back Mullins and O'Hearn. Um, they trolled my channel a lot last year just pulling tons of their autographs. And there they are literally back-to-back. -back. I hope that's not kind of foreshadowing what kind of video this is going to be. And we're not going to pull anything good whatsoever. There's Ryan Barucki. pulled a lot of his cards last year as well. Jonathan Loazaga might get a shot in the rotation this year for the Yankees with Luis Severino on the DL. There's Mookie Betts who's taking his talents out to LA. Logan Morrison had a home run today in spring training. He's a journeyman type guy now with the Brewers trying to make the team. Brewers signing all types of guys just like Logan Morrison. Let's see if they can catch on. 
Toronto Blue Jays rainbow card. A couple Ronald Acuna Jr. cards, which are pretty nice. Insert cards. Uh, it's kind of like how Tops this year has a Reese Hoskins is a little set, a little subset there. Well, last year they did Acuna, which was uh, probably a lot better quality player. No offense to Reese Hoskins, who's literally right there. Um, always got to look out for short prints. So to look for those, you look at the number at the bottom, 67. And that is going to be a short print. So Clayton Kershaw ends in 10. That one ends in 10. You can see they all end in 10. But that Reese Hoskins, which I've never seen before, that's why I decided to look at the back and tell you about it. That is a short print Reese Hoskins. So very nice card right there. Typically, depending on how rare it is, it can be worth anywhere from a few bucks to, um, I don't know, 20 bucks or more. So I'm glad that we got a short print. That's something to look forward to at the end of the video. Go and check out how much that goes for on eBay. There's Glaber Torres, Gold Cup card. D.D. Gregorius who's with the Phillies this year, trying to bounce back after a bit of a down year last year and dealing with an injury. Tyler Glass, now another injury guy. Have to see how he does. He missed uh, a good portion of the season last year after starting, I think, 5-1 and one with a sub-2 earned run average. We've only got two boxes left. We've got the 2019 Heritage, which is on clearance for nine fifty two after tax, and the Mega Box. We'll do the Mega Box last since it has an autograph. I'm most excited for that. You can see that sticker on there. That is covering up the real barcode. Again, I can't stress that enough. Make sure that you look out for that. Um, you don't want to get ripped off by buying something that you wouldn't buy usually because you think it's less. All right, so one stack of cards in here. There's 35 total cards here. We just did 2019 Heritage a couple days ago when we did our Face Off Friday. And the 2019 Heritage box in that video was just amazing. I called it the winner of that video. It's Raphael Devers. Um, just, it was a hot box. Aaron Judge cloth card. I like that one a lot. Card number one of 15. There's Turner. Justin Turner. Betts Abreu. Zach Wheeler. We got a rookie card there of Cedric Mullins again. So I guess if you buy 2019 products, you're going to get Cedric Mullins cards. That's for sure. Ross Stripling, Jay Bruce, Nick Birdie, and Alex McRae, and James Pacton, and Noah Syndergaard. Also have to always look at the back of these. Your short prints are going to be card numbers 401 to 500. So I would hope that they would give us at least one or two short prints. And they gave us no short prints whatsoever. So that kind of stinks. But we're moving ahead to the final box of the day. Hopefully this box makes the whole trip worth it, spending a good portion of my day going around to different Walmarts. It's the Mega Box of Prism with one autograph in here. Let's hope it's a good auto and not a Cedric Mullins, which you've already seen two of his cards today. Inside the box, this giant, massive box that is just way oversized, and there's just... A couple packs down there. I think there's like 32 total cards in here. Of 40 total cards. So you have a giant box. You could literally probably fit 800 cards in if you really wanted to. So we got our bonus packs. Bonus prism packs. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's open up this mega box or monster box. Whatever they're calling it. And see what we get. And see if we can find an autograph. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Miguel and Duhar. If you're new here, by the way, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Almost at 52,000 subs. Thanks to each and every one of you that have hit that subscribe button. And also, if you would, if you like this type of video, kind of new idea here, going around to different uh, Walmarts and seeing what they have, rating the clearance bins if you like the video like the idea make sure you hit the thumbs up button i would very much appreciate it here's pack number three walker bueller then we have a frankie lindor and albert pujols so people like those colored parallels like the lindor was a red colored parallel there this next one we have our autograph i think yes it is upside down so autograph is coming up we got ryan yarbrough we got Max Scherzer, we've got Michael Brantley, and the autograph is going to be, hopefully it makes the box worth it. It was a $30 box, and we get Dean Dietz. $30 box, 30 cent auto, Dean Dietz, sticker auto. All right, so that's 
unfortunate, but still, it's an autograph, I guess. That happens when you buy those boxes, um, unfortunately. Sometimes you might get a good one. Sometimes you might get a guy like Dean Dietz or Cedric Mullins. Anyway, let's see if we can recover here and make this uh, investment worth it. Uh, there's a nice David Ortiz blue parallel, Cody Bellinger. So all all together, I spent let's see, thirty bucks on the on the mega box there, and then um, oh, I would say thirty, then forty, fifty. I probably spent over sixty dollars on all these. Luis Severino, Justin Verlander, and Colby Allard. Right now, I don't know. I'd be happy to get ten bucks for all the cards that I pulled. That Reese Hoskins is going to be the wild card right now. I'll have to see what that goes for on eBay. If you'd like to help me out and check it out for me, let everyone know what it goes for. The Reese Hoskins short print. Let me know. Here's our last two packs. They're the bonus prism packs. We got Trevor Williams prism, then. Adubal Herrera, David Peralta, and Giancarlo Stanton. And our last pack of the video, this Clearance Bin Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to call it that or not. It's CBS Clearance Bin Sunday. I don't know, maybe we'll make it a semi-regular series around here. We have Frankie Lindor, Joey Gallo, Jalen Beeks rookie card, and Garrett Hampson rookie card. So, best card of the day for me is the Reese Hoskins um, I guess literally the best card was the Mike Trout base. And I guess um, here's the autograph. It was Dean Dietz uh, from the Houston Astros. Hopefully he ends up being something special. Uh, but we shall see. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video of me going around to different Walmarts. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.